Okay, so I go to Mass this morning at San Segundo de Asti in Ontario, California. And um, I wanted to uh, receive the sacraments of confession of Divine Mercy Sundays coming up this Sunday and the plenary indulgence um, from our Holy Father from the Orbi at Orbi within the week was to receive the sacramental grace of confession. And I went to confession and I, I talked to Father Marx and Father Marx was very cordial in, uh, in his, in his, uh, He was so sweet. Well, then I went to Mass after that. There was Mass right after Confessions. And what happened was uh, Father Marx was um, reading the Holy Gospel. And the Holy Gospel was about the, the, the fish. And... During the homily, Father was uh, explaining certain aspects of the gospel and, and other, other parts of the readings that weren't even part of the readings. And then I realized something, that there were several daily, daily mass participants um, in the chapel. And I realized that The Holy Spirit is an extraordinary gift to the faithful in the universal church. And certain souls have this special gift of listening to where the wind blows and responds to that and although the conversation may be broken from one conversation to another conversation, the ones who need to hear it, hear it. And the ones who don't need to hear it, hear something else. And what was going on during the homily is I was listening to what I needed to hear and during the times when I wasn't listening to Father Marx, <laughs> I was contemplating other parts of the gospel that I was listening to, or, or even looking at the beautiful raptures of sacramentals that are around the church. So I am just sharing with you the beauty of how extraordinary a grace it is to be a Catholic confirmed and sealed by the Holy Spirit. And it is a triumphant season because what's happening is we are engaging in a a realm beyond what we see and this realm is only entered into by those who believe 
And in that faith, it becomes a reality. Those who have not entered into that realm have yet to learn. We love our Lord, and he has risen indeed. <laughs>